what's going on everyone boy oh boy you know what this um and shout out to everybody that's here make sure y'all like this video man because this might be commentary of the year okay <laughs> i knew this would happen i didn't know it would happen this quickly but i knew it would happen okay now apparently michael b jordan wanted a long-term relationship with lori and apparently Lori Harvey did not really want that. And if you look at the social media, they haven't really posted with each other uh, since March. Uh, she's been posting a lot more than he has, and she hasn't posted anything with him. I had recently done a video about her getting, you know, people coming at her for uh, being a fat shamer, even though they were asking for health advice. But apparently they are over. You know, Michael B. Jordan wanted to get serious. She didn't. It, it just shows you where they are in their life. He's at a point to where he's ready to settle down. Maybe. As a matter of fact, I believe he just sold a home. I believe he bought another. I believe he just sold a home and I believe he's in the process of buying another one. So he's looking for... Uh, a different situation right now he's in a different place in his career and he wanted to do something different lord but i think the mistake that michael b jordan made was that he actually thought that lori harvey was serious about settling down lori harvey is about pushing her brand lori harvey is going to be single for as long as she can be single but what lori r harvey doesn't understand is at some point you're going to have to come to the realization that your best options are right now you know, she may think she can play the single game and, and be single for a number of years and still get the men that she wants. I highly doubt that is going to occur. Now, she may believe that she can still have good options, but look at her. Look, look, look at how about the car? Something else. Look at Lori, man. Look at her history. Look how many dudes in the industry she's going from this relationship and, and that relationship. Lori Harvey's fans got to understand. You, we can't just keep blaming the men in this situation. We have to look at the fact that Lori Harvey wants to be out there in these streets. Like she has a loyalty to the streets. She don't want to leave yet. But what she doesn't understand is the older you get, the worse your options are going to get. Now you may end up settling for settling down with the guy that is able to financially be what you want him to be, but you're going to be unhappy because you're still going to believe you settled. You're still going to believe you settled. She has allowed her mother to make her believe that no matter what, as long as she's still attractive, she's going to be able to get the men that she wants. Uh, that was 20 years ago. Not everybody is Steve Harvey. Okay. Not everybody's just going to take somebody's uh, leftovers and be somebody's stepfather. That's, just, that's not going to happen these days like it did before. So let's get into this TMZ article. Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey are no more. The couple reportedly broke up, and the early indication is that it might have been her who wasn't on the same page for their future because she wants to be in these streets. Lori Harvey has a loyalty to the streets. She's more loyal to being out there and trying to be the it girl because, trust me, Lori, there's going to come other women who are going to be more fond upon in the media than you. That day is going to come, all right? According to People Magazine, Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey have ventured into Splitsville this after more than a year together and the power coupling all over Hollywood. Unclear when they might have gone their separate ways, but neither has posted a photo with the other in months. They probably broke up in March. But it's probably more official now because, again, it's the summertime and these heifers want to be single for the summer. We know this. We know that i just did a video about tyler harrow and his girlfriend katia his kid's mother breaking up right before the summer so now that this is being put officially out there they're saying it could be people from michael b jordan's team putting it out there probably because she's already seeing other men which i really would not be surprised at so or, or they've officially just called it off maybe they just needed some time apart but it's funny how when the summer hits, now all these relationships fall apart. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think a lot of these women want to be single. They want to be free to do whatever. 
And if your girlfriend don't want to be with you, you realize it's the summertime, don't take her back because all she wants to do is run around and do what she wants to do and then come back to you to wife her up for the fall and for the winter. Granted, Mike hardly posts on IG anyway, but still the last time he threw up a pic of him and Lori was back in March during the Oscar season. Ditto for Lori, who posts way more often. The writing might have been on the wall. She hit the Met Gala solo, no Michael in sight. Now, as for the reason behind the, the reported uncoupling, people are citing a source familiar that says Michael apparently wanted to get even more serious with Lori than they already were, as he was apparently seeking to go the distance in a long-term relationship, marriage. I hope not, because that would have been a huge mistake, bro. Even though I believe that was a rumor that they had gotten engaged, I'm like, nah. <laughs> Michael's not that dumb, man. There is no clarification or pushback from Lori's perspective, which seems to suggest she didn't necessarily want the same thing as Michael. One thing they both report reportedly feel, though heartbroken and continued love for one another, at least according to the outlet. They first got together November 2020 and celebrated their one year anniversary this past fall. By all accounts, they were one of the ultimate it couples in Hollywood in a while well no more couples goals <laughs> okay listen man you have to be an idiot to want to wife up this chick i'm sorry even boosie said it <laughs> what did boosie say everybody was coming at boosie boosie told y'all boosie told y'all lori harvey is not couples goals you know she done been in these streets boosie tried to warn you michael <laughs> Boosie tried to warn you and tell you, listen, man, don't wife her up. Don't do it. Because one, she's not going to want to be wifed up. And two, you're going to be making a mistake. And listen, I'm not saying that Lori Harvey's a bad person, but come on, Lori. Lori, again, she thinks that she's going to look good forever. She thinks she's going to be the it girl forever. She thinks there's always going to be a Michael B. Jordan that comes along. I'm sorry to tell you, that's not going to happen. Okay. Because more men are waking up and more men are saying, you know what, if I can get, if I can sleep with her and get a few months out of her, that's all I want. I you know because I know she's not going to have qualities. I know that she doesn't even want to be wifed up. She want to be out here in these streets. She has a loyalty to the streets. Boosie knew that because Boosie know women like her, no matter how sophisticated they try to dress themselves up to be. They are still who they are. This, same, this is the same female that dated Trey Songs, that dated uh, P. Diddy, <laughs> Future, <laughs> and then got with, with good guy Michael B. Jordan and couldn't make that work. What does that tell you? It's only going to go down from here, right? Maybe she'll hop the fence and divest. Who knows? But we all know, and again, Boosie said it, man. You know, it's I'd smash, but wife and her up is a waste of time and energy. And people went at Boosie and thought Boosie was was being a hater. He mad because he can't get her. Boosie could get with her if he wanted to. It's just she's all about pushing her brand. Lori Harvey cares more about her brand than she does about getting into any type of committed relationship with Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan found it out the hard way. Michael B. Jordan realized that you're, you know, you're just like what these people are saying. And I am wasting my time. So we might as well just end this and go our separate ways. Right, right before the summer. Now, and, and I will say this about Michael. Michael needs to date women that he wants to date. I think that Michael B. Jordan has gotten a lot of unfair criticism for wanting to date non-melanated women. Michael B. Jordan, you're a grown man. You can date who you want to date. Because Lori Harvey dates who she wants to date. And all her delusional followers thinks it's okay for her to just go from one industry guy to another. Do you know that one industry guy equals like a, a hundred, five hundred because of how many women these guys have been with? Some of these guys may have been, you know. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> You know, so her, but her delusional fans are going to be like, you know, making excuses for her 
why these relationships fail, you couldn't even make it work with good guy Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan actually thought that you wanted a long-term relationship when really you just wanted to use his name and recognition to build to build your brand. Let's just be real. You know, I'm not sugarcoat nothing. You wanted to use Michael B. Jordan to build your brand. So where do you go from here? <laughs> I sense a rapper next because, you know, been with the actor, you know, uh, maybe maybe it's recycled back to an athlete because she did date an uh, athlete before she started her run of industry guys, right? I just think it was a complete waste of, of everybody's time, including Michael B. Jordan. He really thought that this chick wanted a long-term relationship, and I don't think she did. Uh, we know this was a serious relationship as it gets as it gets before someone gets on bended knee. Mike had met Lori's family, including her father, Steve Harvey, and even seems to have attended some Steve Harvey get together during the holidays. Likewise for Lori with his brood. Another factor that might have torpedoed this, assuming the report about Michael wanting to settle down is true, is their age difference is a 10 year age gap with 35 and 25. How, has that ever stopped any of these guys? Has an age gap ever stopped these guys? That's why I say Michael B. Jordan is in a different stage in his life and he needs to get with women that actually have the same goals of being in a long-term relationship or marriage that he has stop dealing with these women who have a loyalty to the streets and not to you okay so <laughs> all right that's all i have to say man shout out to everybody's here salute to everyone here make sure y'all like the stream not the stream like the video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See y'all next one. Mike, go get you a Becky or somebody, man. <laughs>